Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Brown and I'm with Stuart St. James Real Estate in Boston, Massachusetts. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Condo Confessions. Today we are heading to Boston's oldest and best smelling neighborhood, the North End. No, I mean it, it, it smells amazing, like all the time, seriously. So we come in and it opens right up to the living room and immediately off the living room is a small bedroom with a vented AC that looks complicated. That's an Ikea closet. And it gets really good light. I love the exposed brick. The hardwood floors are beautiful. Red. Everyone's into red lately. It does make a kitchen pop a little. And then got these little cutouts, which are so cute. Gas cooking. The bathroom is a little bit dated. This is the room in the middle and then the bedroom, which is a better size. Again, that looks like an Ikea kind of portable closet. Built-ins would definitely be the better option. And this is a big space. It's just kind of wasted space. How about those roof deck views? Really, really pretty. Good size. Oh, look, fire hazard. Well, after those stairs, I've earned a seven course Italian meal. I will head over to my friend Jen's place called Table on Hanover and do just that. Back to the condo confessional. It's been about a week since my last confessional and I've seen some pretty bad stairs again. I don't want you guys to think I'm obsessed with stairs, but come on, like, come on. Really? Bright side, you don't need a gem membership. The unit itself was pretty much updated. It had stainless steel appliances, all hardwood floors, butcher block countertops, the kitchen had those recessed brick kind of cutouts, which I think are so pretty. And the unit itself got really great light. The condo could be a really good investment if you did rent it out. You'd have to get it for the right price to make sure your mortgage is covered, but that area is super popular with young adults, so there's never really a problem of renting anything. Well, 
if there wasn't a pandemic. What else? This goes back to the smells of the neighborhood, but seriously, you never have to cook, like ever. The portions are so huge, you could probably feed yourself for days. And why go grocery shopping and make stuff when you've literally the best chefs steps from your door? I mean, that's just crazy. Even though that unit can be a great investment, if you're looking to actually occupy the unit, you're gonna have trouble getting a mortgage. Remember me talking about that owner occupancy rate? I'm pretty sure it's all renters in there. The first big clue was the charcoal grill on the wood deck. I find condo associations that are present hate fire. Go figure. I'd probably have one of these on hand just in case. So that floor plan was a little odd. Great to have an extra room, but nobody knows what that room could be. Definitely stage it as an office. Seeing as though if you stage it as a bedroom, you're gonna have to walk through one bedroom to get to the other and railroads are just so out for apartments these days. The unit had window ACs. I only recommend ventless and ductless ACs again because could you imagine carrying up an air conditioning unit to that floor? That's hilarious. The bathroom, although updated, still looked really dated to me. Those tiles somehow give me bad memories of middle school. I don't know why. However, tile paint and new fixtures, putting in a pedestal sink, opposed to one just attached to the wall, will completely update the bathroom look. So there's no washer and dryer in the unit or in the building, which although is a great excuse not to do laundry, I would definitely install a dual unit or become best friends with the wash and fold guy, one or the other. Thank you for joining me on yet another COVID caravan. Next week, we are headed to Charlestown.